Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Comic Zone for the Sega Genesis. Uh, Comic Zone is a pretty fun beat em up uh, fighter sort of game. Uh, it, it is pretty hard, it's known for being a little bit difficult, but uh, hopefully we can get through this thing without dying. Uh, it kind of fell by the wayside whenever it was released, mostly because it was released during the end of the uh, Genesis's lifespan. Uh, I think the PSX was already released, the PlayStation 1. So, uh, you know, it kind of didn't get a whole lot of attention. Uh, but since then, it's pretty much reached cult status. You know, it's uh, been a favorite of a lot of people. So uh, I kind of idled too long there. So let's go into the option screen. Uh, we can set our controls. You definitely want to be using a six-button control scheme for this. Uh, as you can see, the A is the action, B is jump, and C is custom, which we can set down here. I've got it set to Shaolin Kick at the moment. You can change it between a few things that comes default on block, uh, which is fairly useless. You know, who blocks in games like these? You know, seriously. So you can do that. You can do Shoulder Smash, Scissor Kick, Shaolin Kick, or Macho Yell. Uh, personally, I prefer Shaolin Kick, as you can <laughs> probably see. And then also we can see X, Y, and Z uses items 1, 2, and 3. If you don't have a 6-button control scheme, uh, obviously X, Y, and Z won't be available, so you have to use C to switch through your items and then A to use it while you're switching through. Uh, it's, it's pretty sloppy and I don't like it, so I would definitely recommend you use a 6-button configuration. Okay, so we exit out of the option screen, get this thing going. Now the story behind Comic Zone is that you are in control of Sketch Turner, who's a comic book artist. And uh, on the present day in New York City, you know, present day in 1995, but uh, I guess it's not that much different, really. I mean, it's just comics and stuff, but... Anyway, this one night, it happens to be storming, a lightning bolt magically hits your comic book, and the uh, villain of the book, Mortis, comes back to life, or rather, comes to life, and uh, traps you inside the comic book. You're gonna have to survive and avoid all his traps and defeat all his little minions. So, uh, cool stuff. Sounds fun. Alright, so we're here in the comic book. This woman over here is Alyssa Cyan. She's pretty much useless in here just for looks, uh, which uh, don't count for much, really. But <laughs> but uh, she doesn't really do anything, so I don't need to worry about her that much. Alright, and we can see there's a bunch of items here on the ground. We hit down in order to pick those up. That's dynamite, there's a knife, and there's a health recovery item. Uh, we'll get to using those in a little bit, and I'll tell you what those do. Uh, the A button, the action button, does your little punch combo. And uh, you can hold down at A to do this little kick. You can hold down uh, down right. Uh, there we go. And do that stupid little kick. We can, you know, hit up and right and do that stupid little kick. We can do an uppercut. We can do jump attacks. We can do jumping kicks. So, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff we can do with just the uh, the two buttons, pretty much. And also the, the custom button, that's the Shaolin kick, the little spinning kick right there, that's the Shaolin kick. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty powerful. Three knockdowns will take them, uh, take these guys out, uh, you know, regardless of whether you just do a full punch combo or do a Shaolin kick. So uh, you actually get a lot of usage out of, that, uh, out of that kick if you can get it off, right? So we can use our knife here, we can throw it and knock the guy down. It pretty much has the same power as a Shaolin kick or a full punch combo or whatever. So uh, that, it's pretty useful, but it's probably one of the most useless items. Uh, so one thing you uh, notice about this game is you take damage from pretty much everything. Of course, using the Shaolin Kick to hit enemies will do damage. Uh, but if you punch, like I can just sit here and punch the wall. Okay, maybe not on that side, but if I punch the cage, see my health is going down while I'm doing that. If you punch things that aren't enemies, you take hits. But sometimes that's the only way to progress forward, so uh, it can be a little bit annoying for sure. And that's part of what makes the game so difficult, is your health pretty much goes down by everything. So as you can see, there's a trap door and a switch over there. Obviously, we need to press this, or, uh, pull the switch down in order to open the door. We're also going to use our uh, first or our next item here, rather, which is the dynamite. So we use it, and it blows up this stuff. Um, I also we also got that little rat back there. That's actually Sketch's pet roadkill, and uh, he's useful for a few different things. So we'll uh, get into that when we use them. Uh, this guy's a strigil, and he's also dead. But uh, as you can see, they can be a little bit annoying. They like to teleport around, and like they'll dodge your Shaolin kick if you uh, try to use it on them. So that's pretty annoying too. All right. So obviously, uh, what we're supposed to do is move the box over, flip the switch to open the trap door. Uh, there's a little glitch here if we can time it out right, where we can just do a jump attack. Oh, I think I'm too close to the middle. 
There we go, and we just fall down through the trapdoor, so... <laughs> this game, it can be a little bit glitchy, uh... I would recommend you watch the, uh, the Tool Assist speedrun of it, and... Basically, it consists of just bumping the enemies off-screen so they automatically die. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch, actually, but... Okay, so, uh, we took out those little flying enemies that die in one hit from the Shaolin Kick, which is nice. And, uh, we've now reached the end of the first page. Alyssa says, well done, Turner. And we briefly turn into Super Sketch. What the f was that? Yeah, we don't really do a whole lot with that. There's the, the little drawing of them, and we get our little progress. It always goes up by 15% each time. Uh, but there is one item that will briefly turn into Super Sketch and, uh, do a little attack that clears out all enemies on screen. But it's, uh, it's nothing that spectacular, really. Alright, so as you can see, we used Roadkill there, and he, uh, opened up the little panel in the background to reveal that dynamite, which we can now use to blow open the door. Of course, you can just punch it down if you want, uh, but as I said before, you'll take a lot of damage doing that, so it's best to try to use explosives or, like, other items, uh, if you can, you know, in order to avoid unnecessary damage. So these things here are like little nests. Uh, if we leave them alone long enough, I guess I might as well show this, they'll, uh, spurt out this little scorpion-looking dude. We just kick him a few times. Alright, I need to take care of these things. There we go. Oh, I guess the hive just disappeared, and then another stritchel comes up. There we go, see, that's him teleporting. I don't know if he did the first time I fought him or not, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking about roadkill. <laughs> okay, the fan will do my job for me, I guess. So obviously, if we touch that while it's moving, we're going to take damage, so we need to use Roadkill in order to go under it, and he'll flip the switch behind, which will deactivate the fans. Now that's deactivated, of course, we can destroy them. And drop down into the next little panel here. So this one's pretty obvious, we just push the little box into the fan, it takes a few hits, and then eventually explodes, destroying the fan in the process, so that's pretty nice. Now uh, we want to destroy this box here, and we get a grenade item, uh, which we're going to use in a little bit. So as you can see, we kind of hit a junction there. I think we've hit a junction before, but uh, this is pretty much just the path that I like to take. You know, the other ones aren't that much different. You still end up in the same place. It eventually meets back, but it's not like I can take both of them at the same time, so uh, we're going to have to just pick one. Alright, so we got more of these hive things. Shaolin Kick will pretty much take care of them without too much trouble. And I like to use the grenade on that guy. Uh, because he drops a fist, and we need that little uh, slot in our inventory to be freed up. Alright, so here we need to push the switch whenever the left one's on the blue, then the right one's on the blue, and that'll uh, solve this puzzle for whatever reason, then we can drop down. Now here's where I like to use the little superpower thing. Uh, it'll just take out those two things quickly and free up an inventory slot. Uh, no real reason <laughs> for that really, other than I just like to take care of those things quickly. Alright, so here we're going to see another new enemy, this sort of green slime thing. Uh, they're not that strong. If you can get a Shaolin kick off first, then just another, like, punch kick will take care of it. Uh, you might have been seeing, I like to kind of do that little high-low alternating thing. Uh, it's a pretty fast attack, and it's pretty powerful as well, so... Like, it's not one of the built-in combos or whatever, it's just what I like to do. Because, as you can see, it takes care of business pretty quickly. So we just finished taking these guys out. There's uh, one more after this. Alright, there we go. And I hope this episode is done for. Not quite yet. It is almost done, though. Let's go ahead and get our health back up to full with that health potion there. And here we're going to uh, see the boss. I took a stupid hit there. But, uh, yeah, so this guy really isn't much of a threat, especially if you have the Shaolin Kick. You can do this really easily. See, as you can see, he gets stunned whenever you do that, so you can just sit there and keep doing that over and over. Uh, also, the way you're, uh, you can do this uh, kind of cheaply is to let him hit this little thing and then move it over, like, underneath him, and he'll keep taking damage from it and won't be able to do anything to you. So either way, whether you have the Shaolin Kick or not, this is a pretty easy boss. Oh, yeah. So there you go, we finished uh, the boss of Chapter 1, and that's the first episode done with. There are only three episodes, so, uh, you know, it could be a little bit of a short game, which uh, is another one of this game's criticisms, other than being pretty hard, because you lose health from everything. But, uh, so, you know, it can be a little bit disappointingly short, but uh, it's still a good game, in my opinion. 
Anyway, we're in the second chapter, and uh, before we move on, we're, it looks like we're in the Himalayas and the snowy mountains here. So uh, I'm just going to take care of this place in the next part. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.